That's why you gotta be safe. I thought YouTube Kids was safe. I thought YouTube Kids. Actually, I kind of knew. I when I saw YouTube Kids, I'm like, it's an app. I'm like, anything could go down, and anything like who's operating that? Like seriously, anything could go down. It's not a per parental control thingy because you would have to put blocks and whatever on it. It just says it's only YouTube Kids stuff, but apparently they said you could. They could search adult stuff on there. Because it's YouTube. It's an app. You know what I mean? Like, this is scary. Wow. Apparently, people are doing the moo The moo, moo Hear me? Moo, moo People are doing the Momo challenge on YouTube as well. But that's stupid. Like, how they're actually doing it. Um, there's a new thing that apparently Momo is on WhatsApp. Thank God I don't have WhatsApp. This is one of the reasons why I... I don't have WhatsApp. I don't have WhatsApp as well because... Sorry, I keep moving. WhatsApp has your number. I don't want everybody... Everybody has my number, right? But, like, let's say me and you work together. I just want you to have my number. I don't want you to have none of my social medias or whatever. That's basically what WhatsApp has. So, once you're on WhatsApp... It has all the all your information. Okay, it has your number, whatever. So as soon as the person has WhatsApp, they're automatically added. So whatever update you make or whatever picture you post, they're seeing all of that. They're seeing your side. I don't want them to see my other side out of work. I'm just friendly, whatever at work. But other side, like I'm, whatever. I could be turned up on whatever party. I don't party that much. Okay, I do party. I'm gonna admit to that, but I don't party that much. So like when I do other stuff. I don't want them to see like what if I had a boyfriend or something I don't want them to know you know what I mean like so in this video I'm going to show you what is that I mean about the Momo challenge thingy like how they're messaging what is it called Momo on um, Instagram not Instagram sorry WhatsApp and if this doesn't explain more I found another video on YouTube that I could post well right here in Colorado parents are warning each other about a new game targeting people with suicidal tendencies the trend seems to be known as Momo the image has been going around social media for the last few days. Video call the Momo right now, guys. Video call the Momo. <laughs> Are we gonna do that? Okay. Momo is a nickname given to a sculpture of a young woman with long. This is a sculpture. Long back hair, large bulging eyes, a wide smile, and bird legs. Pictures of the sculpture are associated with an urban legend involving a what's yeah, that sounds phone scary. Number. This sounds like the juju board. What is it called? The Ouija board. <laughs> Link to a game referred to as the Momo Challenge or Momo Game. What the frick? <gasps> oh my gosh! No, no, no. Yeah, I keep seeing those legs everywhere now. Oh my god. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh, oh. That looks like a person. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, I'm not hungry no more. My stomach has been stuffed up. Why are you saying that you're gonna at me? What did I ever do to you? I did not do nothing to you. What? Of course, it's a black guy. What the hell are you saying? I don't even understand your language. What the hell? What the Here's the first clue for parents to be concerned with the image of this Japanese statue of a woman with bulging eyes oh, and scary statue. features. Here's how this dangerous challenge goes. Users start communicating with Momo on Facebook or WhatsApp, oh. a free messaging service. They're given a series of tasks to finally meet the Momo, and those tasks start off small but then escalate quickly to violent acts with photos for proof. Allegedly, an unknown number called Momo is currently appearing in contact lists. The corresponding profile picture is the creepy face of a woman. Not only does Momo appear in your contact list, it also sends you messages. Some have also received photos or even voice messages in which it is stored to them. That the face? Reports of scary encounters with Momo have been accumulating on the internet. To where they're contemplating very dangerous situations for themselves. Yeah, darling. 
The Momo intimidates and threatens those who don't follow its instructions. And the final challenge can be anywhere from harming to killing yourself. I have Momo challenge or Momo. Wow. <sighs> this is so scary. Sorry, my eyes hurt. I'm seeing Momo. I did not want to do this, but I had to let inform my users, my users, my subscribe, no, my, my supporters, subscribers, supporters, you know. What this? Like, this is scary. If it was me, I wouldn't, that pop up, I would never go on YouTube. I would hate YouTube for the rest of my life if I saw that. Apparently it's a hoax. So if it's a hoax, why does it keep coming back? I have never seen a pop up on me, but if it does, I'll be so mad. No, oh, I'll be so mad, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Why? So I encourage you, none, none of you guys, to do this. To message on on Facebook or WhatsApp just to see it pop up and then you communicate. Don't don't do it. Like I ain't gonna even do it. Don't do it. It's just sad. Parents, my message for today is just be cautious of what your children do. Like, now I understand why my parents had the computer. We had a desktop computer for a very long time. And then I got my laptop. Uh, for a very long time. And they had it in the room. They told me that I had to, we had to have our desktop in the living room so they could monitor what we're doing. And it's true. My dad was preying on everything. What I mean by preying, he was watching everything I did on there. Like, I remember those days when I went on T.Y. when I went on Black T. Basically, dating dating website. Mm -mm. My dad was on it. He'd be like, who did you message? Like, why is your picture up on, on there? Who are you talking to? Doing all that. Yeah. My parents are on me. So, like, especially my dad. So, I was very... My parents are overprotective. Still to know they are. Um, yeah. They would watch every move, especially my dad. So, like, I was safe, basically. There was one time where something happened. I'm going to do a... St I should do a story time about that. Stay tuned about that story time. I was... It was one of those... It wasn't even... It was one of those chat thingies called High Five. Y'all remember High Five? And then I, I ended up... I ended up on another website. <sighs> I don't know. I ended up on a what another website, and then it led me to that, and something scary to happen. But yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a story time on that. But yeah, since that also surfaced, I didn't want it to go on the internet again. And then I found my way through YouTube, and then YouTube helped me. So that was like the only site I stayed on. I still did after a while. I still did the dating sites or whatever, and then I stopped. But YouTube was the one to help me. That was the number one site I went on. Not site. Yeah, it was a site. It didn't have an app. Remember, it was a site. I went on a site. And YouTube helped me. But now this is surfacing. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, make sure you watch what your ch children are doing. Oh, also when I got the laptop too, I had it in my room. And my parents left me, especially my dad. They didn't care because they're like, you're doing homework. And then later, they started seeing that I was watching movies. I was doing other stuff. My dad's like, you better not be doing what you, you're not supposed to be doing. I know what you're doing. And then I was like, what are you talking about? I'm not doing anything because I was just watching movies. And I was on MSN and all that. Those are the times MSN came. And then when my dad said that, I was like, what are you talking about? Then I was like, okay. I'm getting tired of leaving my laptop in my room because I'm not doing anything productive. Like, I wasn't doing homework. I was doing homework, but I wasn't more productive on homework. I was doing it, like, little by little, and then I'm like, I could do it tomorrow, so forget it. So I told myself, okay, I kind of like what my parents did, how they were on me about seeing what I was doing. Even my mom, my mom would be like, are you doing homework? I'd be like, yeah, she'd be like, okay, well, you're older now, you're in grade, I think at that time I was like grade 12, so I'm going to leave you, whatever. So I said, okay. Since they're a little bit less on me because they trust me, no, I should just bring it out. So when I brought it out to the living room and did my stuff, they're just like, why are you here? Like, I'm surprised. So I said, no, I want to be more, protect more productive on my homework and all that. So, yeah, I brought it out. And now is when it started. Every little thing. 
they would watch even pop-ups came like scary people like what did you just do no i'm like i didn't do nothing so whatever i did on the laptop they would always watch me so yeah my parents helped me out a lot so y'all comment down below if you as a parent or if your child watching this because children watch my stuff if you as a parent watch what your children do on the internet and you as a child does your parents watch what you do on the internet comment down below your thoughts this video is getting long right now it says 28 so yeah comment down below anything corresponding to this video and yeah i'll get back to you i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys comment like subscribe do all that jazz Make sure you hit the notification bell too. I don't think I said it in the beginning of the video. At, at the end, of, uh, at the beginning of the video. So make sure you guys do all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.